Welcome to Halfpipe Level 2, where we're going to learn how to keep tables up to date. So let's see how easy it is to continuously migrate uh, to Snowflake using Halfpipe in three demos. We've got uh, the first part is going to be copying a snapshot, and the next part is going to be copying deltas or using an incremental pipeline, and then lastly we're going to use a real-time pipeline to keep our target up to date. So let's get some stats fired up for our Oracle source in the top right and Snowflake in the bottom right. So in level one we saw how easy it is to create the target table structures that we need. So we'll skip that for this demo and get straight on with it. So we're going to take a snapshot of this first, uh, first table in one command, virus 3. Uh, we're going to fire up a, a snapshot pipeline that repeats every two minutes just to keep that target snapshot table in sync um, and it will be seamless from a user's point of view um, deleted and reinserted entirely in one transaction uh, this is the loop a two minute loop here so we'll wait for that data to uh, arrive in the target all right so the pipeline's completed and taken the million rows straight across virus 3 into the target so we should see that update now. So the pipeline's still running in the background. So the next time it wakes up, it's going to resync everything. So we can make some changes to the source. So we'll delete half the data. So we can see the source data has disappeared now, or half of it at least. So the next time half white wakes up, it's going to take those rows straight across, delete the target entirely and recreate everything. So that pipeline's completed and sync the data up and the row counts have updated. And that's how easy it is to keep data in sync with half pipe snapshots. So it can be quite expensive to be deleting and reinserting all those rows. I mean, from Snowflake's point of view, we haven't got to worry about um, redo logs like we did in the Oracle days. So that's not so bad, but um, it would be much better if we could just set up our source system to track changes. So that's where the second demo comes in. So in this demo, we'll fire up uh, an incremental pipeline in the background uh, that repeats every two minutes again and we'll look at how we can how easy this is to get it working so here's the the two minute loop again so the first time it runs it's going to sync all rows from source down to the target so the pipeline's completed synced up the initial million rows and we can see they've arrived so let's make some changes to the source um, we'll update 5,000 rows and we'll add 100,000 records as well. So we're waiting for Halfpipe to wake up in that loop to resync everything. So let's check the timestamps in the source and the target. And we should see the target is uh, behind time so we've got new changes waiting in the source to go across and that's it that pipeline's woken up sync the 105,000 rows and if we check that uh, target timestamp again we'll see it now matches the source And that's how easy it is to keep tables in sync with halfpipe deltas. But what if you want to handle deletes? Well, we've got to do some more complex setup with those triggers to get that to work, and that's not a problem. In part three here, we're going to look at firing up a real-time pipeline from Oracle to Snowflake, and this will handle the deletes as well. So we're going to add a column to the target table to track row IDs that we need. This is essentially using um, 
Oracle's continuous query notification to handle the change sets. So now that pipeline's fired up here, um, we're just going to wait for the data to arrive in the target in the bottom right. So now the two tables are in sync, we can add some records to the source and see them trickle across to the target. So we could add some updates to the source as well, but it's going to be hard to visualize those changes just as row counts. So you can see we're up to date in the target now. 100 rows have come straight across. So we can even delete records too. Let's delete 50 rows and keep the transaction sizes small. So we should see this um, row count go down in the source and down in the target as it has. So all the data is going via S3. So with these continuous query notifications, we've got limitations. Um, so this is really useful if you want to get up and running with real-time pipelines quickly, but you've got to balance the table size with the rate of change of data. And that's how easy it is to get started with those real-time pipelines using Halfpipe. Thanks for watching.